Hey guys, so we're here at Loaves looking for some sticky peel. <laughs> We're trying to see if Yama can find some spray paint and some <laughs> peel -a stick tiles. Um, they have the 3D peel -a stick that are more realistic looking than the normal sticker tiles. So hopefully they have them in stock at this Lowe's. Okay guys, we're gonna head in. to go see if they have the peel and stick towel that we could not find at Lowe's. All right, so these are the bigger stickers, 2.87 square feet. <laughs> this is kind of cute too, Mo. I like that it's a little raised too. Yeah, this is so, you guys, this is so cool. Like I did not know they had stickers yeah like this yeah like they're changing the game yeah it's very renter friendly this metal like this it's yeah. not metal but it looks yeah really, really maybe this really, something like this behind the stove really nice because look they got it in their the sink sink oh look look yama look how oh i, I have it. to glue it on oh, you have to glue it really they look nice. like real metal but it's very flexible so you can cut them if you need to size them it's not considered renting. Oh, maybe they can put like a, a 3M tape, like a double-sided tape or some type of um, a command strip, something like that behind it that could make it more renter friendly. Yeah, you know, this is definitely an alternative to remodeling the kitchen if you, you know, want to be a little bit more cost effective. Yeah. These are, are $20.98 and these ones over here are also $20.98 for the subway look. Project needs command strips. For this project, you will need a ruler or a straight edge, a cutting board, your peel and stick tile, a straight blade or exacto knife, and a pair of scissors. To start off guys, I wiped down my backsplash with all-purpose cleaner and vinegar. Uh, after that, I let it dry completely before I began. So here guys, I am taking my first tile piece and I'm cutting off the edge so I can have a straight line up with the backsplash that's currently on the wall. And with that, you have to score it a couple of times before it actually cuts through because the backsplash does have a protective layer of film on the front side as well. So once that's cut, I went ahead and lined it up with my backsplash, put it down and I made sure I held it firmly before I moved on.
So now I'm moving on to measuring the bottom part of the backsplash. So I use my ruler and a pen and I decided to use my scissors at this point and the scissors was a lot easier than the utility blade. So I went ahead and used my scissors, cut that out and laid my piece down. At this point, I discovered that it would take up a lot more time to do the customized bottom pieces as I'm doing the top layer. I hope it makes sense as I'm doing the top layer. So I decided to just do a row of the top layer straight across because I knew that I didn't have to cut those at all. And once that was laid out, I would be able to go back in and customize the bottom pieces as well as the top pieces. And here's after you guys. I had so much fun doing this project. It was so simple and so easy to do. It took less than an hour and I will be giving you updates as to how it's holding up over time. Yeah, so stay tuned for our next episodes for the small kitchen upgrades.